This week we're running Explosives Camp and part of the Explosives Camp is fireworks. We're going to set up a large fireworks display with the campers. In my arms here, I've got a variety of shells that are used in commercial firework displays. And these uh, items pack quite a lot of punch. For instance, this shell here is six inch diameter. And if it bursts near you, it's gonna have a break diameter of about 500 feet. That's 250 foot on either side. Because one of these shells can very, very easily take your head off. Actually, contrary to popular belief, setting these things up is fairly safe, as long as you're not smoking. When the danger comes is at the point where you intentionally ignite these objects. We ignite them using electric matches, and this allows us to command detonate them from quite a distance away. To be safe around fireworks, there are a number of things that you have to take into account. And the first one of these things is what you're wearing. If you're wearing long pants, etc., cetera, uh, then it will land on that and will burn those instead of your skin. To make sure that you're wearing cotton because cotton is a really, really good fire retardant. The second thing we have to be very particular about is when we go up and light the fireworks. And I prefer to use a butane torch or a propane torch. One of those where you pull the trigger and it lights automatically. You should never be using a match and then have it up in front of your face trying to light it. Another good method of lighting fireworks is using a road flare. There's one rule in fireworks you always have to adhere to. You never put your head over a loaded launch tube once you've got into firing mode. Once you light something, you should never go and look back down it if it doesn't go, because it could pop out. One of the main problems that people have uh, during July the 4th is their pets, because a lot of dogs and cats are very, very scared of loud bangs, especially repetitive bangs. And therefore, what you really need to do is lock your cat or dog up in the garage rather than the house. And the reason for this is you don't want them soiling the carpet. To learn the power of explosives, camp students also blow up watermelons. Fireball! Three, two, one! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got meloned. Students then detonate explosives underwater to create what they call a water spout. Three, two, one. <laughs> and finally, they cut steel beams with shaped explosive charges. Three, two, one. Oh, did I tell you that was going to be rather loud? <laughs> <laughs>